this example is how you can use one problem but differentiate it by the question that you ask. So I'm going to give you this problem with quite a hard way of asking it and then illustrate to you the kind of different uh, levels of questioning you can have. So this question, we have a rectangle and you have some of them on your table. So you should have lots of these around for you to play around with this. And my question to you is this. So what's the ratio of the areas of triangles A and B? The ratio of the areas of those two triangles A and B. Can you work out the ratio and can you prove it? That's your mission. Okay. Anybody got a uh, answer to that and a proof of that? You cut it up. So what did you what did you decide the ratio of the area is of the same as so one to one? Yeah. So the area of triangle A is exactly the same as the area of triangle B. Uh, I could have asked that in a different way. I could have said, is the area, is triangle A the same area as triangle B? That's one way of asking it. So I've taken out that ratio part. I could say, are they both quarters? Which they are. And then I could say, okay, if we're not sure how to prove this, let's use paper and scissors so we can fold it, cut it up, do whatever we like with it. So if you did do that, you might have folded it that way and thought, oh, actually, if I look at it, this triangle A has got two little triangles in it that are the same as the two smaller triangles that are in B. Mathematically, reasoning, you could think, well, actually, what I've done is I've got a shape, I've halved it, and I've halved it again. So they must be quarters. Now, this actual question is in the year one book in the Maths No Problem um, textbooks. And when I first saw that, I thought, that's pretty sophisticated for year one. But actually, it just follows on from what we've been doing with the teddy bears earlier on. We're thinking, same area, different appearance. They're quarters, but they don't have to look the same. And so right from the beginning, the children are being encouraged to think about maths how it really is, not this kind of perception that we're giving the children of what things look like. So that's why um, the children in year one are able to think about that and think, yeah, they are quarters. But on the face of it, you think A is bigger, don't you?